Everyone's having a great day today. We're about to go finally pick the truck up from the shop. We're headed over to Michael's right now in the, the Mini. We haven't seen this car in a minute. And uh, good old Hayden has, uh, oh gosh, here we go, we're ripping. <laughs> so, um, Hayden came and picked me up yesterday. Uh, it's actually, they texted me, it was done last night, and uh, we almost went and picked it up. But uh, we decided just to go ahead and wait until the morning for better videos, obviously. And uh, we're on our way to go meet up with Michael right now at his house. And we're going to roll on over to the shop and go pick the truck up with its whole new setup. But technically, it's a full bolt-on truck now. Ripping. So we're in uh, Hayden's mom's Mini Cooper Non-S. Uh, pretty nice car, actually. I, I mean, this is like one of the cars that's made me really want to get a Cooper S myself one day. And we got a K5 Blazer. People are into that. <laughs> so we're headed over to Michael's and then go meet up with him. I'm curious to see what he's going to drive today, if he's going to drive the Charger or not. But um, I'm ready to pick the truck up. I'm not ready to spend the money, but I'm ready to pick the truck up. So uh, pretty much the shop charge is... Holly, okay. This thing has a little bit of a punch off the line. Yeah, it does. For being slow force the device. <laughs> More torque than mine. <laughs> so, uh... The shop is charging me 600 bucks more than what was originally quoted, but that was for piping and hangers and all the weld work they had to do, so... Basically function work. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. But uh, I'm ready to get the truck back. It's been uh, going on almost the third week since uh, I last got to see it. So um, it's probably filthy. I mean, it really needs to get washed. Um, I'm hoping... I'm curious if they, under, if they sprayed underneath the bottom where the power steering leak was so bad. Because that was one thing I always noticed is that the uh, K member was always just absolutely filthy in the truck. So I doubt they did that, but it'd be awesome if they did. Um, pretty much uh, for those who have been watching the channel and are curious why the truck has been in the shop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I had the valve cover gaskets replaced because I just didn't feel like doing it. Um, steering rack, same reason. And I had a set of headers put on. I had an X-pipe as well as some Magnaflow 6-inch race mufflers. Um, which is so the truck's gonna be considerably louder than it was. The truck's had Flowmaster, has had a Flowmaster 40 on it for about three years. Uh, so this is gonna be a whole new world for me. I'm anxious because uh, it's a lot of money and um, this is a completely unique setup. No one's ever done the Magnaflow races on these trucks before, so I have no clue how it's gonna sound. Uh, my goal was to kind of go for something similar to the Genesis 3.8, that kind of tone, that kind of lowish kind of V6 tone. Um, hopefully, it's kind of similar. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited, but we're going to go meet up with Michael, and then we'll head up up there to the shop and uh, see how things went. <laughs> oh, your car runs so dang great. So we're over at Michael's now. The Speed 3 is uh, out, out and about today. The Charger, Michael took all the vinyl off the Charger. It's not right. <laughs> he even took his shipping labels off. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I just hear, it was like, what the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, are you ready, Michael? Are you ready? To, are you so ready to hear this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. She lactated. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we're about to roll on up there and uh, go spend some money. So oh, you haven't paid him yet? No, I'm about to. Rip. $2,300. I ripped my savings account. There it is, I see it. <laughs> the Trukerson. With, where are the tips? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. They ain't sagging. <laughs> Whirp, she's finally ready to go home. All right, let's go pay for it. Emissions. That sounds awesome. You gotta drive it a minute, man. 
Let's let it warm up. That sounds awesome. I want to sit You want to go to uh, Meadows? It's closed. It's closed? Yeah, all the parks are closed. Wait. Where are we going to get drive by? Drive by shooting. <laughs> So Michael's going gonna be the first guy to drive it with this new setup. Rip. <laughs> Just so I can hear from the outside. Yeah, don't romp on it, it's cold. Nah. Drive it. Drive Maybe the it turning up. circle's ain't his hole. Am I clear? Yes. There's a huge hood in my way. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, you should have That sounds so good. That sounds awesome. He's getting, he's nailing it. He's nailing it right now. Look at that. He's never driven one of these. So I'm a fan. Huh? You so excited? Oh yeah. You're ready to spend all the gas money because you're always on driving. <laughs> oh dude, no doubt. Too. Yeah. So I mean, past emissions, it's it's pretty loud. What was that? Oh yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, that freaked me out when you got it there, and I heard a bang. I was like, what was that? So what do you think? Very droney. It's droney. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh. Oh, that sounds so good. I didn't bring the faux pro though, which sucks. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> well, what do y'all yeah, think? <laughs> Seal approval? I want hurt. I haven't heard it. All right. Hey, Jordan, just give it a little tap. Oh. Oh, man. What? Dang, son. Oh, it's probably when I was driving up the hill. Didn't feel like it though.
right, guys, so I'm just wrapping this video up here. Hope you all have enjoyed just kind of looking at my first impressions of the exhaust setup on everything, the you now officially full bolt-ons Explorer Sport Track. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. I am so tired. Um, but uh, I guess my real first impression, since I haven't really talked about it a whole lot, um, it's a lot louder than I expected, and it's a lot raspier than I expected. I was not expecting it to be as raspy as it was. Um, we did find out, uh, unfortunately, that the Midcats did have a sensor on them, and this was something that wasn't communicated to me at all. Um, everyone that I talked to in the owner's group at the time had said, oh yeah, by the way, you mean there's no sensor there, you're fine, no need to worry about that, uh, your pass emission is perfectly okay. Nope. <laughs> um, it has not thrown a light yet, but it has thrown a P0420 code, which uh, is a catalytic converter code, so... Um, I've got seven months to figure it out anyway before emissions roll back around, so I can easily figure some sort of game plan out, whether it be you know going back and getting the mid pipe modified to have those cats on it or some some BS. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We'll have a comparison video coming very soon of all the exhaust setups uh, between the stock, the Flowmaster axle back, and then the new setup. I uh, also gotta go back to Aiden's house and pick up the old exhaust because I had forgotten it there. Um, since they had loaded it up in the back of the truck and I just completely blanked and left it at his house by accident. So, um, well, I said, hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everyone.